all of them are 105 amp hour EV cell and these are the best cell you can get on the market EV grade contactor aka relay switch let's take a look at the label down here HTL HCF 250 slash 450 ready load 250 amps 450 volt DC here's a quick search on Google I could not find this particular model but this is a similar model and down here it specifically says that it's an EV grade designed for EV I cannot find the price of this particular contactor but a quick search for 200 amp DC contactor it shows that they are not cheap there are two expensive contactors on here one is connected to the negative terminal the other one to the positive terminal this is the exact same contactor as this one over here we have a very large component and it says rated at 300 amps 500 volt DC let's look this up and here is the part number and it is a fuse rated at 300 amps 500 volt DC cost $106 on Amazon that is quite expensive for a fuse that's a very large and expensive fuse because it's only controlling the battery input and output indirectly through the relays it does not need to connect all of these large wire and bus bars to the BMS there are many advantages of doing it this way the number one advantage is heat because it's not connected directly to all of this wire which runs at very high current it does not produce a lot of heat and therefore you don't need a heat sink for this BMS the BMS is enclosed in a steel box and that is also the heat sink for the BMS but you don't need an actual heat sink for the BMS because it doesn't get that hot all the heat go through these big wires and the number two advantage is durability because it does not have to go through all these heavy duty and hot components it can last much longer than a regular BMS advantage number three is easy to repair if one of these contactor goes out all you have to do is to get another contactor and replace it it's extremely easy to repair instead of replacing the whole BMS advantage number four is cost if one of these contactor goes out all you have to do is to replace a single contactor instead of replacing the entire BMS and it's a lot cheaper to replace one single contactor instead of replacing the entire BMS and that leads to advantage number five it's much easier to repair that way all you have to do is remove this contactor put in a new one and you are good to go I have reviewed and tear down many batteries before but this battery is the only battery that has a BMS totally separated from all of these battery terminals the BMS leaves all of the heavy duty jobs of turning on and off the battery input and output to the relay switches and that is a very smart design the only downside of this design is that it's more expensive to manufacture because you've got more components and the components are more expensive but there are so many advantages of making it this way you get what you pay for and in this case that is very true and you can see it only has two main connectors one of them is connected to the balance cable the other one is connected to the relay switches and let me show you the back of the board you can see there are no space to connect bigger wires from the battery terminals and this is just for controlling these two connectors here and overall it looks like a quality built board it doesn't look like it's made by hand either it's impossible to make this by hand by the way all of this is made by machine so that's awesome so there you have it the Novaic power 51.2 volts lithium iron phosphate battery the price for this battery is just a little bit higher 
than a few little amount of phosphate, 51.2 volt battery I have revealed on my channel. But the quality is second to none. The build is like no other batteries that I have ever seen.